A Y fracture of the distal humerus is shown. When presented with the three-piece fracture, a start is made by reducing two fragments anatomically. Often surgeons choose to reduce the condylar portion of the fracture first. This is accomplished by placing an intercondylar lag screw in the two distal fragments. The lag screw may be placed from medial to lateral or as shown from lateral to medial. The glide hole, which parallels the joint surface, may be drilled from a point just distal and cranial to the lateral epicondyle toward the fracture surface. Alternatively, the glide hole may be started at the fracture surface. This can be done in either the medial or the lateral fragment. After the glide hole has been drilled, the appropriate end of the double drill sleeve is inserted into the glide hole and the thread hole is drilled. Following countersinking, measuring and tapping the hole, the cortex screw is inserted, providing lag function. The fracture has been reduced to two fragments, which will now be stabilized. The plate may be placed on the caudal edge of the medial aspect of the humeral condyle. A screw has been fixed in the proximal end of the plate in the first screw hole. The next screw is inserted through the most distal hole of the plate. This screw runs in a caudal cranial direction. By placing the screw in this position, a long screw can be used which will give maximum purchase in the distal fragment. All of the remaining screws have been inserted. The plate needs minimal contouring when it's placed on the caudal ridge of the medial portion of the humeral condyle. Care must be taken when positioning the plate here so that it does not interfere with the proximal ulna during extension of the elbow. Instead of placing the plate on the caudal aspect of the humeral condyle, the plate may be placed medially. When this is done, screws will be inserted obliquely in a medial to lateral direction. These screws must not penetrate the articular surface. When the plate is placed on the medial side of the bone, more contouring of the plate is necessary. Depending on the conformation of the bone and the position of the plate, the most distal plate screw may be inserted through the condylar fragments. In some cases, the proximal and distal medial fragments may be reduced and stabilized first. The lateral fragment is secured with an intercondylar lag screw that provides compression at the fracture site. As shown by the green pointer, an intramedullary pin can be inserted in a lateral to medial direction, this will provide two points of fixation to the lateral fragment. It may also be possible in some fractures to fix the lateral fragments with a second lag screw, eliminating the need for the intramedullary pin.